the way it works is so my KitchenAid food processor was not working and what I have found out is there are two locks in here which prevent it from working unless those locks are properly engaged where are the those two locks number one is here on the top and I'll show you in a close-up Here it is, this one. Let's see if the camera can focus here. Yeah, maybe you can see this. This is, this is first lock, which you can see here. And the second lock is here. In here, this one, it needs to be pushed in like this. like this so I'm going to clean this locking mechanism and for that I need to open it from this side so here are the screws the Phillips type screws so you can slide it out like this this is how it looks like from the inside and this is the locking mechanism which is pressed from that side because this is the top top side of the bowl and this is the spring which is retaining everything so the way it works is like this keep a hand here keep your finger here otherwise I think it will come off and then you'll have some trouble installing it back so let's see if this one goes like this. I'll start disassembling everything slowly so that I can later on assemble it back. Okay. I just need to clean all of this track just to make sure so that this works uh, flawlessly and in a smooth manner. So I'll clean all of it and then start assembling it back. So I have disassembled all of this to clean it. Now it is clean and so here are the detailed pictures after the cleaning. And this also shows how all the spring mechanism and the lock mechanism works. So that there, there is a little bit of struggle to make sure the spring loaded mechanism works properly so now it is properly installed here yeah okay all i need now is that strip goes in here and then this mechanism is going to slide on top because it will be secured by two screws, one here, one there, this side like this. There it goes. So before I put in the screws, I'll check the mechanism, which you can see there. Let me see if it is working fine. Yes, it is. So I'll put the screws in there and the cleaning is done and hopefully it will work fine let me put the screws back a gentle tightening should be enough you don't want to crack the plastic that's it and this is done and seems okay let's see if uh, this operation has been successful so this goes in here locked so this is that edge which is going to push that lock which we have just serviced. Let's see. Yeah, it has gone like this. Okay, let's see if it is working now. Let me plug it in and here is the moment of truth. Yeah, 
it is working fine close it so it, this has been in use for a couple of years so i think maybe after five or seven years it has caused this problem so easy fix thanks for watching